Welcome to Manhattan, Kansas, the Little Apple, where they have taken a large bite out of college football. The man for whom the stadium is named, Bill Snyder, built this program from the losingest in the history of college football to a formidable foe and home of the Kansas State Wildcats. We've got a top 25 showdown in this one, both teams with an opportunity to get a statement victory. As we'll see, the number 16 team in the country, the Arizona Wildcats, taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Kansas State Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Kansas State ready to kick it off to get things underway. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. The Wildcats offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right, they better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is gonna be a long day. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. From the gun, running back gets the give. Makes one man miss. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you've got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Almost had the completion, just missed it. I love the quick decision the QB made there in that RPO, knowing he wanted to get it out of his hands fast. He just needs to make a more accurate throw moving forward. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll try the left side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell. Gets off the football really fast. Gets in the backfield. Gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. They're bringing heat. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. He'll bring it back. It's Lockett. He's brought down, but there's also a penalty marker down. Let's see what this is about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing to kick the kicker. Defense. Defense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Power football with the run. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. 
I know the passing game sells, the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. The option look. The pitch. They'll finally make the tackle, but that option was executed to perfection. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Give to the running back. And the freshman does a great job using his technique in getting the man on the ground. They're about to get through their entire opening script of plays. This is the 11th play of the drive. Third down coming up. Looking to pass. It's Fafita. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. 57 yards out, and he powers it through the uprights. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Wildcats offense will have its first possession of the game. And how about this matchup of a couple of guys who just don't get tired and don't mind being handed the football, Jesse? And I love this matchup, too, because in modern football, it's all about throwing the ball and spread and tempo and air raid offenses. Let's go back to toting the rock. Old school. Two of the best running backs in the business here. And the defenses now, like, they know the challenge. They know these guys are going to tote it. They got to be physical, committing guys to the box, not letting these running backs have success today. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Johnson looking to throw. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. That is how you start a drive. Meet the physical challenge on first down. Rush the quarterback, get the sack on second down, and now put him in a third and long situation. Nice job by this defense. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Man, this home crowd was so jacked up, so excited to finally get the football after giving up points on the first drive and having to be quiet. Now they're quiet again. How about the defense coming in here, shutting this crowd up early and doing their job? K-State sends the punt team onto the field, ready to boot it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. 
Fair catch called for and made. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. They move the tight end all over. They're going to ride this running back. Across the 25, he's got room. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. We've played one. Before we move on, let's have a look at the stats. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. Trying to find his man on first down. Got it! And he was dying to push his way in. He's knocked down at the three. Great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And he drags across the field. He can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. They'll run it. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And after that stop from the defense, they're still on the two, and now it's third down. Now on the option. He'll toss it. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. Mono y mano, the offensive line gets it done, driving the defense back, creating an easy lane for that running back. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here, too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire. So an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. To the ground with the back. 
And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. All right, great little run there. Listen, it wasn't a good deal first down, but what does it do? Now it makes second down easier. The play caller looking at his sheet going, all right, I can throw it, I can run it. Still in a great position. Way to, way to stay ahead of the chains. Kansas State pushing the pace. They give it to him again. At the 45 on his way. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that. Goal. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Grab behind the line. It's Cephas. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. He was not fooled on that. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. A third and long coming up here. Johnson wants to throw it. He took a hit as he threw it. He couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. QBs and receivers on third down. Everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit just down on the same page with his target. Kansas State will have to punt it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He'll bounce his way ahead for a pickup of four out to the 14. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Out of the gun to give to the back. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. Picks up three. Third down coming. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. They'll try to power their way ahead. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. Arizona runs out the punt team. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Got his man! They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. And you just wonder now, is that the play that's finally going to wake this offense up? They've been sluggish throughout the entire first half, but could that be the thing that finally just gives them a little bit of a jolt and leads them to scoring some points here before this half is over? Johnson looking to throw. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. 
and a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They keep attacking through the air. The throw to the outside is complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Looking to move it through the air. Gets it out quickly. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. On target over the middle. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And in that situation, on the one-yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of this defense. They've got guys. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And they finish it up with a three yard scoring toss. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first, man, the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. I think if you're the quarterback moving forward, you need to start thinking about hot routes to your tight ends and to your running backs because of this outside linebacker. He's a guy that has shown the knack to get after the QB. When he comes blitzing, you need to have an outlet throw in your back pocket. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Looking for space, it's Conley. He'll be brought down and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books, time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great scene there today in Manhattan. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in the Little Apple.
Arizona is set to start this second half. They'll kick it off. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Johnson wants to throw it. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. I and mean, you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Really, really nice football play. Man, i got to understand option football. i got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. And look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And he gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it from the gun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. Looking to throw, it's Fafita. Finds his big tight end. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. And had they not picked up that first down, it would have been decision time for the head coach, right? You're kind of in no man's land on the fridge. Are you trying a long field goal? Are you going for it on fourth down? But because of the execution there and the nice throw, let's keep this drive going. Let's see if we can get six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Afterburner's coming. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. The receivers getting their blocks downfield is a big deal, too. 
It's a huge deal. We always talk about them catching passes, but blocking is so important for their responsibility. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They marched 58 yards for the touchdown on that one. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, Dave. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. The give to the tailback. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, if you want to run the ball up the middle, you're going to have to block that guy. I mean, nobody even touched him, and he slanted right into the backfield, made the tackle for loss. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. K-State sends the punt team onto the field ready to boot it away. They'll look to pin them deep. Slips through the line. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And it's just simple. Simple first down run. Showing your physicality. Setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. They'll try the right side. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little, tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you, so you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Bully ball on third and short. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And, you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. you got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. Arizona comes out with another first down. Some misdirection with the counter. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs managed, but the way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the shotgun, the inside give. They get him stopped at the 30, but not before he gets five yards. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. 
It'll be a run on third and short. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It is perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. K-State has the ball back, and the Power Cat offense returns to the field. They go to the ground. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. That's the type of explosive play you love to start a drive with. First down from the 42. Motion from the offense. Right back to the well. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. Whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Johnson looking to throw. Finds the tight end. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They'd hoped to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. On fourth down, they'll run it, looking for the first. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. It'll be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. On second down, wants to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Reed. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. Third down, and they'll need to get the ball to the 38-yard line. He'll set up to throw. Got it set up on the outside. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Open space at the 25. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. 
Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? And that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Movement here from the tight end. The give on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You haven't seen that happen too often tonight. Taking a loss on a run. This guy's been special. He's been finding ways to get into the second level of this defense. And because of his talent and ability, that's a big reason why they've got the lead right now. You know that's not going to deter them that last play. They're going to keep handing him the football. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. This third down play might be the last chance for this defense to stay in the game. They'll go to the ground. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. It's good. And now the lead is even bigger. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And here comes the Kansas State offense back onto the field. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Johnson wants to throw it. Got his man in the middle. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. He's looking to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Swanson. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. Listen, I love when my quarterback gets outside the pocket. I got an opportunity to make a huge play. But when it's not there, now I want him to make the simple play. Throw it away. Don't take the sack. Don't take the loss of yards plays. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that pass intercepted. He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. 
Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. And this one is just about in the books. The defense can stop the clock one more time as the offense takes a knee. 